Jammer here and welcome to another video. So today I am telling you the 10 types of jammers in Jamma. Leave a comment in the comment section down below about what type of jammer you are, and if I left any out, make sure to tell me that too. Alright, let's get on to the video. So first of all, we have the famous jammers. Now the famous jammers are an elite group, okay? They are special, they are the VIPs. So most famous jammers like myself, my brother, Wisteria Moon, Julian 2, all those people, they are all YouTubers. But then there's the case of Snowy Claw, in which she has a blog, but she also has a YouTube channel on the side. Anyway, the famous jammers are basically the celebrities of Animal Jam. If you see one of them, you're like, oh my god, Autopolis! And if they unlock their den, it gets full pretty quickly. Should I even try? I'm gonna try. Let's do this thing. Unlock. It's a party! They're the ones who get to explore AJHQ and get to go to VidCon and all that fun stuff. The thing that makes this group so special is that there's no real way to become a famous jammer. With all these other groups I'm gonna tell you about in Animal Jam, there are many ways to join them. But the famous jammer group is very different in the fact that there's no real way to become a famous jammer. It just kinda happens, like one day you're like, oh, making a video, and then the next day you're like, oh, okay, then, well, okay, hi. The second group of jammers we have is the artist group. Now, I'm not just talking about the people who will occasionally make a masterpiece. I'm talking people who have full-on accounts dedicated to art. They do art YouTube videos, they have an entire Instagram account dedicated to their art. In fact, I can name like three people off the top of my head. Darkdog13, Artemis, Feli Spirit. This is a huge part of Animal Jam because a good masterpiece is worth like two or three black longs. I'm pretty sure that Animal Jammer 330 herself traded a bunch of rares for a Mona Lisa piece. I was actually on a Skype call with her when that happened. Yeah, anyway. Without this group of jammers, Animal Jam just would not be Animal Jam. Group number three. So group number three is a group that we have all been in at one point in time. This is the noob group. So basically any new jammer is a part of this group. They just don't know what to do with themselves. They don't know how to buy items. They don't know how to play games. They don't even know what a den is, okay? How long you stay in this group really varies. Like, I was in this group for probably an hour before I started getting the hang of Animal Jam. But you might be in this group for like up to a week. It's a stressful group, but we all eventually get out of there. Group number four is the beta group. Now you probably already know what the beta group is just by its name. People who were here in the beta days of Animal Jam are part of this group. Now if you joined any time after 2011, then sadly you're not in this group and you can't join it ever again because the beta days of this game are over. So it is a very exclusive group. Most players who played during the beta and are still around today are very hard to come across. So if you are in this group, you are very, very lucky. I have never been in this group. I wanted to be in this group. I was a few months away from being in this group, okay? I had joined in like March of 2012, okay? If I was just a few months earlier, if I was just a few months earlier, I could have been in this group, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Group number five. Get it like five golden ring, you know, like the Christmas song. It's too early for Christmas, never mind. Okay, group number five. Group number five is the role players. You gotta love them. The people that hog up Serapia Forest all the time. Even I was a part of this group before. Sadly though, my role playing days are over. Now the role player group usually consists of people who have never read Warrior Cats before and are really confused as to why the wolves are called cats and people who have read warrior cats before and use wolves as cats I still don't understand that why are the wolves on this game cats like they're wolves guys oh my gosh as you can probably tell I was part of that first role-playing group I don't understand why they use wolves as cats like they're wolves not cats just use a tiger, okay, man? Anyway, uh, to be in this role-playing group, all you have to do is go to Serapia Forest, like, every single day and just role-play with your friends. And that's literally all you have to do. So yeah, if you want to join that group, all you have to do is become a wolf, look very, very naturey, have a naturey name, and go to Serapia Forest all the time. We're more than halfway through. We are at group six, everybody! Group number six is a group nobody should be proud to be in. In fact, if you're in this group, you're probably a very mean person. A bad jammer, if you will. This group is the hackers and scammers. Now you got your classics in this group like FMAM122 and Wretched Jungle. But then you also have the small time scammers scamming people in Jama, saying trade me a spike and I'll send you a spike back or something lame like that. I don't want to spend much time on this group because honestly I don't like them. But what I will say right now is that if you are a scammer, just stop. Like, this is a kid's game. I don't know why you have to take items from little children to make yourself feel happy. And if you've actually scammed before but you've quit now, it's okay. All is forgiven. And now, dear old group number seven. Group number seven is the innocent jammer. And I call them this because they have no clue what's actually going on in this game. They don't know anything about the famous jammers or the artists or the scammers. They're just completely innocent. They don't even know that there's a community for Animal Jam. They don't even know that there's YouTube pages or Instagram pages or anything. They just kind of log on, get their daily spin, find some plushies, and that's it. And then they log out and they're fine. And yes, these are the jammers that are probably three or four years old being supervised by their parents, but still, they're so tiny. We need to protect them, okay? We need to protect them. The little tiny innocent jammer must be protected. 
I'm sorry, I just love that group so much. Like, I'll go out into Jamaat Township and everyone will be screaming, Pepper, Auto, OMG, Auto, Plus. And then they'll just be in the corner like, who's Pepper? I don't understand what's happening right now. And it's so innocent and pure. They haven't witnessed the drama of the Animal Jam community yet. They haven't seen the exposed videos. They don't know about scammers, guys, okay? I remember I was on Animal Jam for about two seconds before me and my best friend started searching up Animal Jam on YouTube. Yeah, I wasn't really innocent for that long. Alright guys, we are on to group number eight. Now group number eight, much like group number six, is a terrible, terrible group. Group number eight, much like group number six, is very messed up. But they're a whole nother kind of messed up, okay? Group number eight is the disgusting group of AJ Maters. I don't even have words for them. Please don't be part of this group, and if you are, I just am- I- I'm moving on, okay? I am moving on. Okay, guys, we are finally at group number nine. One more group after this, and then we will be done with the video. And that's scary. I don't want to end this video. I'm having fun. Well, there is always tomorrow's video, I guess. All right, group number nine. I'm noticing a theme of really negative groups at the end here, but I have to put them in because they do exist. So this group is called the AJ Haters. Can you guess what they are? They're basically big ol' haters. They hate everything about Animal Jam. I don't know why they play this game, actually, because they just hate it so much. They create hate pages on Instagram for other Animal Jam. Jammers. They hate basically every single update that Animal Jam comes out with. Now I'm not saying that you can't dislike an Animal Jam update, but they do this every single time one comes out. They hate it, they hate it, they hate it, and they don't like it. Every two weeks, they hate the update. They usually have no buddies, and the buddies they do have are also AJ haters. You'd think that the AJ hater group is very simple, like they hate things and that's it. But actually, they are a very, very complex group, okay? They hate Animal Jam, yet they still play the game. It's just so confusing, and I don't understand it. And group number 10, guys, the group you've all been waiting for. The most amazing, the most unique, and the most diverse group of them all. That's right, my little beps, you guys are all in this group. The group of BEPs is the final Animal Jam group. If you are subscribed to my channel, you are definitely a BEP. Now, unless you are from group 8 or 9, chances are I really love you. I am very glad you are part of this group, and I, as your group leader, will lead you in the ending of this video. It's like a group activity. Everyone join in. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. And now, guys, we are on to the part of the video where I tell you to put something random in the comment section below to freak everyone else out who hasn't watched this far. Today, all you have to put is Ultra Puppy is followed by a word. It could be amazing, cool, exciting, extravagant. Just fill in the blank. Ultra Puppy is whatever. Well, I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.